Esta vida loca mía. <laughs> Man, can somebody please break down to me why in the purple haze hell am I not allowed to bring my own marijuana with me when I'm getting on a plane? What is the danger? Please, somebody explain this shit to me. What the hell is going on? You know, now, 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 don't get me wrong. I know we can't smoke weed on the plane. I know this. But who's to say I can't smoke weed once I get to where the hell I'm going? You know, and, 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 and what if I don't want to get weed where I'm going? I don't know every weed deal on, in every city and every state. I don't have that rapport with all kinds of weed dealers. And plus, dispensaries are too expensive, even if you got the medical card. I got one good weed man. He go to my church. I know his mama. I know his daddy. They're good people. He bring my ounce and a half every other Sunday and get it ready for Sunday school. He have that weed in that Bible with the hole in it. I grab that weed and I say, thank you, brother, for the weed. And I go sit on them drums and I get ready for church. Notice I said church and not church. Church. People think when I get on them drums, I'm high in the spirit. Yes, I might be, but I'm also happy as hell that I get to smoke my reefer after church and light it up. But here's the thing. What, what is the true danger of me bringing my herbals on a plane? Especially if I have it wrapped up in a plastic bag, not bother nobody, and I'm not going to open it until I get to where I'm going. I'm not going to smoke on the plane. What do you think is going to happen if I have, what, what am I going to hijack the plane with a blunt? What, what is that going to look like? What am I going to do? Hijack the plane? Huh? Huh? What the hell I'm going to do? I swear to God, the next person to move, I swear to God, I'm going to light this blunt up and we're all going to get high. I know y'all don't want that. Y'all going to be laughing and giggling and hungry and happy and high-fiving and getting along and talking to each other. I know y'all don't want that kind of shit because I swear to God, the next person that move, I'm going to light this blunt up and we all going to go up and smoke. So if I light this blunt up, it's going to feel good. Your bones going to feel like the tin man just got his oil back. Yeah. So, so, yes, I can imagine the dangers of lighting up a blunt on the plane. Not saying I'm going to do that. I just want to make sure I have my own personal weed with me when I get to my destination. I don't think weed is going to destruct or cause any chaos other than people wanting some. Because, you know, it's always chaos when you got a bunch of weed. Everybody wants some and they ain't put in on it. They ain't put in on it. And, and, and to think about it, what is the worst that can happen if somebody happens to light a blunt on the plane? Well, what, what's the worst? What's the worst that can happen? What is the news report going to be once the plane land in Vegas or some shit? Uh, yes, as you can see here, we are live, Jim, at the Las Vegas International Airport. And it seems that everyone, and I mean everyone, Jim, on flight 420 into Las Vegas here is absolutely high. You have to see this sight, Jim. It is a sight to see, my friend. You have people of all races, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. They're all high-fiving and laughing and talking to each other and getting along. What a sight this is. Wait a minute. Hold, hold, hold on, Jim. It looks like everyone from Flight 420 is headed inside the airport cafeteria to all the Five Guys, Burger King, and McDonald's. They are going to ransack that place. McDonald's, Five Guys, and Burger King are going to make a killing from Flight 420 because the entire flight, my friend, is absolutely high. I can smell the fumes now, and oh my God, it smells gracious. I wish I was on Flight 420 myself so I can have a cheeseburger. It's amazing, Jim. You ought to see the sight. The amazing laughter and giggling that's going on here and everyone seems to be hungry and happy and I don't know what's going on I don't know how to explain it Jim but I guess that's the effect of marijuana everybody's happy getting along they're high-fiving and it seems that they want to tear down some cheeseburgers so I don't know what else to say Jim I don't want to say there's nothing wrong with marijuana being on the flight I just don't understand it. it's, it's, it's just a great sight to see I, I don't know I'm gonna go join those guys <laughs> back to you Jim so you know maybe I'm a little out of touch maybe I'm a little old school but I know that I might try to sign me a petition to get some weed in the airport. Not saying that I just want to bring it there to smoke at the airport. I just want to make sure I have my marijuana wherever I'm going. You know, I got one weed dealer. He go to my church. I love him to death. I love his family. I know his mama. I know his daddy. They good people. And he have my weed on time all the time. So I don't want to go travel somewhere and then pick up some weed from some randoms. And then my life will be in shambles. <laughs> I don't know what they're putting in that weed all over the world. I know my weed, man. And I just want to say to the airports, all the TSA and everybody out there, you know, people that smoke weed, we ain't harming nobody. We just want to smoke and feel good. You know, people have their ways of feeling good. 
I don't smoke crack or cigarettes or I don't really drink alcohol. That's not my thing. I just know I got my weed and I'll be all right. Tell hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Ow. Ain't nothing wrong with smoking. You know, you do it, you do it in uh, moderation. You ain't got to be a, a, a smoke addict where you can't do nothing but smoke. If you enjoy it, enjoy it. But I'm just saying to the airports, hey, listen, you know, I want to bring my weed with me if I happen to take a trip somewhere. I'm doing a little bit more acting now. I'm doing some voiceover work. And it requires me to get on a plane sometimes. So I want to bring my weed with me. I don't want to have to depend on the dispensaries out here in La La Land. I don't know what's going on out there. I just know my weed man and my situation. So wh wherever those petitions are, send it to your boy Freddie Noah because I'm going to sign that motherfucker. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> man, I'm crazy as hell. Don't pay me no mind.